So I decided to go back and check through the textbook and it turns out you didn't do a lot of negative exponents in grade 9. So we're going to talk about them again. So when x is any non-zero number and n is a rational number and I have a negative exponent, I get the reciprocal. So 2 to the negative 1 is equal to 1 half. But then 1 half to the negative 1 is equal to 2. So all I'm doing, that little negative in the exponent means flipped it. Let's try a couple examples that they've, the textbook has provided us. So, easy enough. 7 to the negative 2. The negative means I have 1 over 7. And it's still going to be squared. So I square both the top and the bottom. And I get 1 over 49. It's as easy as that. Now, negative means I flip the base. Negative in the exponent. So, 10 over 3 to the negative 3. That means I have 3 over 10 to the 3. So by flipping the base, gets rid of the negative. Negative exponent. Okay, perfect. So, still not done, because now we have to do 3 to the power of 3 over 10 to the power of 3, which is 27 over 1,000. Two examples down. That one was B, that was A, and now we'll do C. C was negative 1.5 to the negative 3. Negative 1.5 to the negative 3. Flipping, I'm going to change this to a fraction to make our life easier. That's negative 3 over 2 to the negative 3. Flip the base, but don't get rid of the negative. So that means I have negative 2 over 3 to the power 3. I'm going to do this with the negative. Either the top or the bottom is negative, but not both. So I'm going to do negative 2 power 3 over 3 to the power 3. So I get 8, negative 8 over 27. Key. Because I have a negative here, I don't get rid of it because I have a negative exponent. Flip the base, but keep the negative. And that is it for working with negative exponents.